Emma making costumes. Welcome back. Hey, we haven't done one of these in a, in a super long time, but I got a big pro project ahead of me and we want to document the process. So I don't know if you can guess what it could be. There's a, a little the idea. giant hint. I mean, I mean just... It's, 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 it is what it is. This is going to be based on the first Avenger costume. As you can see, I've already got my shield. I've done a couple of things. You might have seen me make my helmet and do the what I call the phase one. Uh, version of this. A lot of guys that get cosplay sky suits or get uh, white sheep leather suits and modify them to make them a little bit better. Can't really do that here because this is going to be custom colors. So the first thing I want to suggest to anybody that's doing a, a kind of costume like this or any costume really is get a lot of reference photos. I've got as many photos as I could find high resolution from all angles so that you can see where all the seams go and you can get an idea of what the materials are, what's going to work for your costume, and uh, start that brainstorming planning process. Please plan, plan, plan. Mm -hmm. Plan, plan, plan. Just... Oh, and after you're done planning, do a little more planning. Yeah. We've got a duct tape cast of Todd's body, and thankfully this is the same on both sides, so you can cut it down the center and use one side for the pattern. <laughs> if you want to know more about uh, duct tape body cast, we actually did an episode, yeah. so go check that out. Um, Todd's already gone ahead and transferred a lot of the little shapes yep. so to the, paper. The abdominal armor pieces, mm -hmm. are. I'm going to trace and cut out, out of uh, four millimeter craft foam. This is a yoga mat. Awesome. So what we'll do from there is we're going to plan out how to deconstruct this to make it into the paper pattern. And then from the paper pattern, we'll make a muslin to mock it and chest it to try and fit it on Todd because he's been a lot of time picking up fabric. I came across some really great fabrics, um, but these two were the ones that I thought were, the the point that for me was that I wanted it to feel like a real piece of utilitarian clothing, so it had to have the right thickness, it had to have the right color. Like if you're too, if you're too red, it's gonna look horrible on it, it, It's gonna look horrible on camera, and, it, and the thing is it's a military uniform. No, yeah. no military uniform is gonna, Go Unless out in you're battle running into with... a Canadian flag. Yeah. <laughs> so a little more subdued, you know, using a gray instead yeah. of uh, instead of an and actual. And then autumn, you can white. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. What I've done here for now is taken the ad pattern and cut out each of the individual pieces and trace them onto the yoga mat craft foam. And so these pieces are going to get sandwiched between the fabric, but I'm actually going to keep this, which is the measurement of the actual spacing. So if we're going to, so this will be how it will actually fit on my body. But for doing the pattern, once we've got the tunic fabric down, this spacing this shape might be helpful so I'm gonna hang on to that. We're gonna go and use this one as a base and Todd doesn't care about these pants anymore so we're gonna put them on Todd, draw on them and I'm gonna cut them apart and make a pattern out yeah. of them. They're my crafting pants.